we get a quick clap? What's up everybody? So uh, as you know, I'm doing an NFT drop coming up soon and I'm basically gonna explain it to you guys because NFT drops are somewhat complicated. So I'm gonna explain it to you guys, put it in as simple as terms as possible and I'm gonna explain it as fast as possible so that you guys can get a grasp on what's going on for the future of boxing NFT drop. So first and foremost, there's two separate parts of this drop, the open editions and then the tiered auction bidding. For the open editions, there are five that are gonna be dropped. I wanted to partner with amazing artists who I've collected, that I've met through the community, or that I've been friends with. As a part of the drop, one of the artists is Space Renders, who's an amazing visual artist. Corey Van Lu, who's an amazing painter. At Night Ride Visuals, whose work is absolutely incredible. And Carlos Luna James, who creates amazing pieces as well. Also, Artifact Studios is collabing as a part of this drop. We're creating the first ever Problem Child shoe that also is an NFT. Without the artist, this wouldn't be possible so I'm gonna put their links in the description go collect their stuff go follow them go show them love they've been amazing and we've poured our heart and soul into this drop so with that being said the open editions are going live right after my fight this drop is centered all around boxing so I wanted to do it right after my fight April 17th so quite literally I'm going to knock out Ben Askren do the post fight interviews I'm gonna come off stage into the locker room to jump in a clubhouse where we can all chat talk about the fight and talk about the drop that's gonna take place right then and there the NFT open editions are gonna go live 30 to 45 minutes after I knock Ben Askren out the open editions will start at a thousand dollars a portion of the proceeds is also gonna be donated to the seven Genesis grant which helps young and upcoming NFT artists the pieces from this drop are inspired by my love and the artists love for the sport of boxing and combat sports in general and what the future of boxing may look like. I wanted to create timeless art pieces that I would love to look at on a day-to-day -day basis that could be in an art museum one day. An NFT art museum, that is. My brand is sprinkled throughout these pieces, but I didn't want Jake Paul to be the forefront of all of them. I'll give you guys a little bit of a teaser as to what one of these pieces looks like. Here you go. The future of boxing is quite literally two men fighting on the moon. Dear Elon Musk, please send me to the moon and let me fight somebody. The open editions will be live for 15 minutes. Right after the open editions, the tiered bidding goes live for three days and ends on 420. There are 69 bidding slots available. 69 420. But there's gonna be four bidding tiers. The champ, gold, silver, and bronze. To save everyone time, I'm gonna explain what the champ bidding tier will win for the highest bid. The champ will receive my signed boxing gloves from the Ben Askren fight in a picture frame signed by me. I already said that. Two front row tickets and locker room access to my next fight, an invitation to the after party after my next fight, a one of one NFT of me defeating Ben Askren, the live moment similar to the NBA Top Shot, an exclusive Team Paul tracksuit that we wear into the stadium the night of the fight, a one of 69 Jake Paul digital boxing rookie card. I think NFT boxing rookie cards are gonna be the future. An NFT of my unreleased song and music video featuring NLE Choppa. Another NFT of an unreleased song I have with little TJ. You also receive a FaceTime call from me and access to my close friends Instagram list. The gold tier has different perks for bidders 2 through 15. The silver tier has different perks for bidders 16 through 35. And the bronze tier has different perks for bidders 36 through 69. <laughs> All of this will take place at nft.jakepaul.com. That's nft.jakepaul.com, powered by Origin Protocol, right after I knock out Ben Askren. Follow me on Clubhouse. Be ready for the drop. Be ready for the Clubhouse moments after the knockout. I'll see you guys there.